Hey there folks, Jill back here again at the shop. Today I'm just gonna wanna show you something that I've done, uh, which is from a schematic or a plan provided by the that lazy machinist, Mark, and Mark LeCrier. Mark, I wanna thank you. This was a very challenging pro, uh, project. I'm a beginner, of course. I've only had a couple months into this. But I thought it was a tool that I wanted to make. It presented several challenges with angles and, and um, accuracy and whatnot. So I decided to take that on. And actually, I'm going to give this as a present to a friend of mine who actually sold me my lathe and got me started a few months ago into this thing. So this is a bench block. Uh, the dimensions overall are uh, to be three inches in diameter and one and a half inches in thickness um, and with an accuracy of uh, in the tenths of thousands, five tenths of a one thousandth of an inch. And uh, I've actually managed to do that, which is pretty impressive. But in any case, uh, Mark, I wanted to show you um, how you inspire me actually to make cool things. Now, this was not part of the schematic. I made this design on my own. Uh, this is hardened and tempered, and, and this is the color I got in the tempering process and decided to make um, uh, some highlights out of these edges. And I actually um, turned this down a little bit further in order to uh, highlight the high, you know, the, you know, to enhance those highlights, actually. So for those of you uh, that don't know um, pragmatically, made a video on making this particular project and uh, it is truly something else uh, to do. I would truly suggest that uh, you follow the, uh, uh, the plan and of course you'll have to come up with all, your own sequence of operations, which I did. But um, the, uh, perhaps the challenge that I'll issue all of you that are gonna take this on is try to do something to this block that makes it unique for your build. So in this case, there was no such highlights or whatnot or grooves and I decided to make that. At first I thought perhaps knurling would be uh, something to do and uh, I did and then I uh, decided to uh, take it away. So um, this is great. It's got, you know, a slightly oversized hold by 164 to uh that you can use for drilling and tapping um right from one eighth up to half inch actually this is one inch so um you know because it's so accurate you can actually use it as a gauge as well as for uh, for your height gauge you know to to calibrate it should you wish to um and because it has a hexagon uh you can put it in a vise and use it, uh, you know, as a tapping block or to punch out pins to, you can carry it. It's, it's of course very portable, so you can take it, use it to drill a nice straight hole or to get started on a tapping operation. The groove um, could be useful, sorry, to put a piece of round stock and, you know, to punch a mark, uh, to drill a hole, to do whatever operation you might uh, find useful. So, very interesting tool. Mark, thank you very much for uh, uh, giving me the plans for this and, and uh, teaching us all the things you do. You make us better machinists. Thank you very much. Take care, folks.